What's up guys, today I want to talk about a AP Physics 1 question that I see a lot of students having difficulty with and pretty much what it is, it's a box that's sliding down an incline at a constant speed. We'll say a speed of say 1.5 meters per second and this is constant and then it is going to slide to a stop. Okay, so it's going to come to some VF equals zero meters per second. And these two surfaces are going to be the same. So there is going to be friction here. And there's going to be friction here. And usually the question is going to ask one of two things. It's going to ask how long till it stops or it's going to ask how far till it stops. Okay. and. Pretty much our goal here is going to be to get to one of two formulas. To know how long till it stops, we're probably going to want to do something that's going to look like this. So this is the formula that we're going to try and get to. And for how far, we're going to want to use similar information. And I'll go through what all of these variables mean in one second. Okay, so what we have to do here is you know we have to break this into two situations because one of the questions I get asked all the time and when I hand this out on a test question people say uh, don't I need to know mass <laughs> I need mass and the, we're gonna see that no the answer is no and I'll show you how that's the case so I wanna break this into two situations one I wanna say when it's on the incline when on incline and then later, I want to say when it's on the horizontal surface. When on horizontal. Okay, now some things that we know when I am on this frictional surface. Now they're probably going to give us some theta. We'll say theta is going to be equal to say 15 degrees. So when I look at this, I'm going to know theta is 15. I know that V is going to be 1.5 meters per second and A, this is a big one, 0 meters per second squared. Okay, now why that's so important is because that's going to now tell me that F net on the incline is going to be equal to 0 newtons and this is in the direction of motion in the DOM. So that's super important because if I look at the forces that are acting in the direction of motion, I have this force right here, which is FG parallel. You can go back to my other inclined plane videos if you're curious how I got that. And the other one is this force that opposes motion, the force of friction. And because F net is going to be equal to zero, I know that FG parallel must be equal to the force of friction. Now solving what I know for FG parallel, that is going to be MG sine makes it slide theta is going to be equal to mu FN. So right, the force of friction is mu FN, where FN is going to be MG cosine theta. I can then make an expression and see that mu is going to be equal to when I cross out these two masses, see there, we don't need mass. We have a situation where we have the sine of an angle divided by the cosine of an angle. And for those that are strong in math, we know that sine over cosine, mu is really just going to be tan theta. Now, you don't need to know that trig identity. It's not that big of a deal. But now we have some information that we know that there's a mu here, right? This mu of tan theta that is going to be the same mu here. That's super important. Same mu, where mu is the coefficient of friction. So if I was to take tan theta here and plug it in and say tan of 15 degrees, I would get 0.27 that I can now apply to this second situation. When I come down here now and I look at what's going on in this direction, I look at my givens once again and here's a really where this 
question get a little bit difficult. We must know that V naught, right when it gets to here, right when it gets to the bottom, is going to be equal to 1.5 meters per second, right? Because it told me it was moving at a constant speed. Then it's going to slide to a stop of zero meters per second. Now we, and we either want to know how long did it take or how far did it go. And we know that there is a delta V here, right? Because it's going from 1.5 to zero. Therefore, there must be an A. Okay, so how do we solve for A when there are forces involved? We know that A is equal to F net over M. Now on this surface here, okay, here's the next piece of physics. The only force acting in the direction of motion on this box is the force of friction. There is nothing that's pushing the box to the right. And you might ask yourself, well, how did it move at a constant speed here, but it slowed here? Well, gravity kept it going at a constant speed this way because it was a component of the weight. But here, we have weight coming down like this, Fg. And that is not in the dom, okay? That is not in the direction of motion. So the weight and gravity does not matter. So when I look at A, equals F net, which is really the force of friction divided by M, I can now get another variable to help me plug into either this formula or this formula. So let's do that. We know that this is mu mg cosine theta. Once again, from over here, I just used this formula that I used from the left over here. I shot that back over here, divided by M. So once again, do we need mass? No, we can get rid of mass and say that the acceleration of this box on the horizontal surface is just mu times g times the cosine of the theta of that angle. And the beautiful thing on the horizontal theta equals zero degrees. And the cosine of zero is just one. So we can really just get rid of this because it multiplies it by one. And we could say that A is going to be equal to 0.27, that mu that we found before, times 10 meters per second squared, which is what we use for G, and find A to be 2.7 meters per second squared. Now, from here, guys, you can finish and answer how far or how will it go. If you want to know how far, we're going to have 0 equals 1.5 plus 2.7t. Y'all could solve for t. And in this one, we'd have 0 equals 1.5 plus 2 times 2.7 x. That will tell you how far it came to a stop. Like I said, guys, a, a more difficult, challenging question for AP Physics 1, but totally manageable if you break it into its own particular parts. If there's something else that you guys want me to answer, leave it down in the comments below. Shoot me an email. I'll answer any questions that you have. Until the next one, guys.